we need to actually ask the question, how can God metaphysically be related to sin in the sense that he is, a, he is upholding the existence of a sinner even while they sin and not be held responsible? And the answer from a Calvinistic standpoint is that we need to understand the nature of what evil is in the first place. Evil is not a substance. It does not have ontological existence like matter or energy. This, this is where a lot of people go wrong. People think that evil is this icky, nasty substance that the good and holy God can't quote-unquote touch. It's not about touching. Metaphysically, God is touching everything. He has hands on everything. He is in control of everything. He is exerting power over everything. Nothing he is exerting power over is in, its, in and of itself evil, right? God created it all, and he continues to uphold it all. None of that is evil. What is evil then? Evil is a description of disobedience to the law of God. Evil is sin. Sin is evil. They're interchangeable terms. Biblically speaking, sin is breaking the law of God. So it is a description of the actions of human beings. Now, it's important to notice that, for, on God's part, to cause sin and to commit sin would be two different things, right? Causing sin deals with metaphysics. Committing sin deals with laws, right? The reason we can commit sin is because there are laws that God gave to us, right? The reason animals can't commit sin is because God didn't give them any laws. The reason God can't commit sin is because nobody gave God any laws, right? And so the only way that to say God causing sin would be God sinning is if there was a law that said, God, thou shalt not cause sin. But there is no law, right? So this is, this is the fundamental answer to the problem of evil and why evil is actually not a problem in the first place. Because evil is a description of disobedience to the law of God. Evil is something that only humans can do. God can't sin. And the only way God would be sinning and causing sin is if there was a law, if God was breaking a law that said, you shall not cause sin, okay? This is a very short, brief, summarized answer to the problem of evil, and I could in depth go into the Bible and show example after example after example, which I will in my next episode, on God clearly causing sin, clearly being involved in sin, metaphysically speaking, and yet he is not held responsible because, first of all, there's nobody he answers to, there's nobody he, there's nobody who gave him any laws, and, and so this is, this is the consistent answer to, to how God can be metaphysically causing things that involve sin and not be a sinner. We'll see you guys next time, and remember to stay consistent, my friends. Mm -hmm.